a look at the radio DJs who have failed on TV. Rick D's dies. Johnny B is on the noose, but only one show survives. <laughs> We're back in our second season. Is this a nightmare? Or am I back in Secaucus? Oh, I hate it here. I swear to God, the plan was that we were going to do four summer shows, yes. and then the show would be off the air. And then they extended it for just a couple more weeks. Let me tell you something, Robin. The reason I took this TV show in the first place was only so I was negotiating my radio station so they'd give me a better contract. And now... And now we're stuck here. It's like one nightmare after another. Everyone's getting... We have three people who work on this show, and two of them got fired over the summer. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And there's constant fighting and warring. Hey, uh, Kevin, sit here. John, you sit here. Uh, Wait, you gotta hear this. I... This can show, you believe this Kevin, staff can't get along? These three people yeah. can't get along. All summer, the staff is fighting with one another. <laughs> oh, man, John, John comes in every day and hates you. All he does is complain to me about, about me? you. Uh, Kevin is called a line producer. Coordinating. A line. What is it? Coordinating producer is my official Oh, title. coordinating producer. Excuse me, his mother's watching. Sense, John, what was the problem all summer with Kevin? Yeah. Okay, uh... <laughs> Once we went in, uh, we just went to California, uh, you know, two weeks ago. Yeah. Okay, and I was right. supposed to get reimbursed my hundred and fifty dollars. Right, all right. I'll give you. A but check. I've been asking him a couple of, a couple of times now. Sure, then is he, it true? Is it then true? he tells me to ask Gary about getting the radio station uh, uh, to, to pay for half of it. So now I got to start ask, asking Gary to ask. Is it true that you I owe did. him hundred fifty dollars? Yeah, I told him I'd write him a check well, today. How long? Wait, 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 I called you. you three times on it. I said, can I have the but money? Yeah, but where have I seen you? Then I gave you, the, I gave you the receipts, right? Kevin, don't you yeah. know that John is not a wealthy man, despite the fact that he's on a big hit second <laughs> season TV show? He needs that $150. Oh, I guess Didn't the camera get his money? <laughs> Didn't the cameraman get his money, Kev? Honestly. Why won't he get his money? I don't want a check. I want cash, just like the cameraman got. All right. But I didn't get it anyway. That's Why do you disrespect him so much that you can't give him $150, I think is the problem? There, there have also been times that I've been dropped off down in, like, uh, <laughs> in the village. You know, just all like, right, all right, man. All the way down, I'm, about 50, 50 streets away from where I got to go. John. Just get out. No. Let me tell you something, John, and let me tell you something, Kevin. The both of you are big boys, okay? There's a lot of aggravation involved in my daily living. I'm a busy man. You guys are grown adults. I'm not going to do this TV show if you two guys are fighting every two seconds and I'm getting phone calls. Let me just say, I gotta say, just let me just say, just one more. <laughs> then I would call Kevin up. I'd be like, Kev, the right. Bruce Willis uh, 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 interview to be done. Yeah. And and and, and, and I'll call him, but he blows me off constantly. Do we get it? No. All right. All right. Very good. It? No, but right, let me just say yes. one thing in yes. my defense. Here. John is a big Reggie Jackson. We didn't get Reggie Jackson. We had to do. All right. Very good. Okay. He carries any money in his pocket. Because I'm carrying money, money because he doesn't have any money. I want you to work out reimbursements if you're supposed to be some kind of field producer. Field and produced. <laughs> he gets an advance. Something Captain wrong with the two No, of I did after I the don't have a TV a show. Fight. All right, well, goodbye. Goodbye, I can't hear myself think. This is what, these are the phone calls that go on all day. I don't need this. Kevin, get out of my camera shot, you dope. <laughs> Walk right in front of a camera. What is he, a coordinating producer? Is that coordinating or uncoordinating? <laughs> uncoordinating, okay. Okay, nice. listen, I overreacted. We're back on track. <laughs> all right, listen, never mind all of them. Now it's time to hawk shamelessly. <laughs> Do you guys know what this is? First of all, I got to tell you something. I have set up a telephone number for people to call in. This, by the way, is not a videotape. People are calling up and saying, can I get the Howard oh. Stern videotape? This is either CD or cassette. It's our greatest hits, our greatest radio hits. This is something you should have in your collection. Now, I've set up a special phone number for you to call. 1-800-MD-TUSH. No. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, don't call that. Hey, you know, Jesse Helms is in the hospital. I'm thinking of sending him one of these. You know, you told me the good news that he had prostate cancer, and now I hear it's totally curable. Is it really? Oh, he's, yeah, caught it early. Yeah, but sometimes your prostate cancer can spread to your brain. Hopefully that's what's <laughs> going to happen to him. Now listen to me. Here is um, Howard Stern's Crucified by the FCC. If you've never heard us on the radio, you're missing out on something. You think this show is disgusting and in disarray? <laughs> you should hear our radio show. It's unbelievably disgusting. 
nothing in a disarray. And look at this. This is all the material the FCC banned. You get your two cassettes or your two CDs. You get this great booklet, which outlines everything about the Howard Stern Show. Now, remember the number. Jackie, stand up. 1-800-52-STERN. That's 1-800-52-STERN. It's $29.95. It's time to call right now. Call during these commercials. We'll be right back with Tony Bennett tonight. Tony Bennett on this show. <laughs> Stutter and John, ladies and gentlemen. Stutter and John will be back later in the program. This is going to be some program. First one back. We prepared all summer for this. Nobody did a thing all summer. It's amazing. We had all summer to prepare, and nobody was prepared. Yeah, not one thing was done. Thank God Tony Bennett's coming on. But let me tell you, coming up, Out of the Closet Stern will be here with Todd Bridges. Find out what happened Ooh. to Todd Bridges from different strokes with Out of the Closet Stern and Mr. Blackswell. And they've joined the Gay Cub Scouts. Also, Stuttering John went out to Hollywood, interviewed Cher and a couple other people. We're going to see that tonight? And Sylvester Stallone as All well. All right. It's going to be wild. What the hell else is going on? I think that's it. Yeah, it's enough, believe me. It's more than we can handle. Oh, yeah, Anissa, the Chinese spanker girl. Ooh. I forgot all about her. But let's face it, we're pretty shocked that Tony Bennett would even come on this show. That's right. How did we get him? Let's find out. Tony Bennett, everyone. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My heart. yeah! Hey, Tony. Great to see you. Hi there. It's really you. It's not somebody pretending it's to be so you. No, it's me. <laughs> you know, this show is so stupid that when you get a legitimate guy on it, you just can't believe it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just very frightening. Well, we had Bob Hope on, though. That was well, pretty good. That's pretty good. And now to have you and everything else. Tony, yeah. one has to ask, why are you doing this show? I, I, uh, my son told me to do it. I knew it was your son. Yeah. Your son is also your manager. Is that's that correct? Right, for the last 11 years. Probably. Your son is impossible to deal with. Now, I, I'm going to be honest. What happened with your son? It's been a nightmare week. Every time you want to do something with Tony, yeah. you got to go through his son. I see. Right. And the son laid down rules. It was like Gestapo with your what son. What are these rules? Well, it was unbelievable. This, uh, where is your son? Is he back there? Yeah, he's back What's there. What's his name? Dean? Danny. No, Danny. Danny, Danny, Danny no. come back here. Danny. Who the hell remembers? <laughs> Danny, come out here. Come here. Sit down. There you go. Listen, you made me a paranoid nutty. I'm afraid to talk to your old man. <laughs> See, it is the Gestapo. There it is. You don't look like a field marshal. You don't dress like a field marshal. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You made me paranoid to talk to your father. My hands are shaking. Look oh, at me. Why don't you that. loosen up a little bit? I'm loose. Here, here's some of the rules. Now, okay. here's what, okay. Tony, I want, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give, where is my bell? Is there a bell here? There's a bell I right want here. you to do me a favor, Danny. Ring this bell. If I get out of line with your father, I want you to ring this if bell. If he gets into any territory. <laughs> right? If I say anything wrong, I want you to do it. All right, all right, the rules are coming up on the screen. All right, first of all, no singing. Right, Tony? Right. I'm not going <laughs> to ask you to sing, but that doesn't mean I won't sing to you. Oh. Rule number two, no spokesmodels on set. I While Tony's here. You did say that, no spokesmodels no, on set. Tony that. loves women. I what that. is a spokesmodel? Spokesmodel is a young woman who hosts commercials, <laughs> brings in different things. Like uh, tonight, we that. have Anissa, the Chinese spanker. <laughs> this woman will spank you wild, Tony. You won't so know what look out for the bamboo under the fingernails. Let me tell you something. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm sure you love that. <laughs> That's what you think. Number three. Bring up nothing embarrassing. I never said that. I don't know anything embarrassing about your father. Your father's an upstanding man. Know. How would we even know? No, I never said that. What do you mean embarrassing? You're the only one who's got embarrassing stories on your father. I don't. <laughs> Unbelievable, Tony. I'm very paranoid. Number four, okay. no Pat Cooper. What happened? You and your father had it? Don't talk about him. You can't talk about Pat Cooper. You said no Pat Cooper. <laughs> who's going to have Pat Cooper on with your father? I'm honored to have your father. Why would I bring out Pat Cooper with well, your father? I knew that it was your decision. Your son is paranoid. What does Pat Cooper got to do with anything? What a great word. I wouldn't bring him out. Isn't that no a great skits, word? no parodies, and no connection with other elements. Just a straight interview only. So I will conduct a straight interview. A straight but interview. But you ring the bell if I get out of line. I don't know what's You're left to talk about. Act. No, but I know that I know Danny's a big fan of our show. <laughs> Tony hates us. I'm pretty sure about that. He can't stand us and is fed up with us. Well, Tony, I'm honored. Of course, you are an artist. Tony has uh, a great... You mean a singing artist? Singing artist, but also an artist. You mean he works in other media? Yeah, he works in other media. He actually paints, right? You sell yeah. your stuff, don't you? Give me some... Uh, yeah, here's your sketch. Let me, let oh, you sketch. want a sketch for us. And you know, Tony, I would be honored if you'd sketch me. Would you be willing to? Yeah, sure. You put dark glasses on? Dark glasses. Oh. Just, put a, uh, just put a big nose and a lot of hair. <laughs> and you pretty much have him. You know, Tony, while you sketch, I'd like to impress you okay. with some of my artwork. I, too, am an artist. I, uh, I, I did sculpt. not know that. I sculpted. I brought one of my sculptures. I sculpted a sculpture of you. 
If I, I would be Bennett? honored of Tony Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> How is that? I don't ever recall did you, you wearing you this outfit. Yes, I did. How is that? That's very good. I like that. Do, do you look like this? Well, I believe so. I believe he does. That, that is your physique. You recognize it. I should have made. Ago, they used to call those human toys. Yes. <laughs> I notice you're carrying two gold records in honor of your new CD. See? <laughs> Danny, ring the bell. I didn't make the uh, I didn't make the package big enough. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to get upset about that. There you go. And also, I sculpted a beautiful Baba Booey. Baba Booey. You're one of the few artists that works in plastic. I work in plastic, as you can Baba see. Bowie. There it is. It's unbelievable. Now you're actually drawing me right now as we talk. Yeah, go ahead. Just talk. All right, I'll sing while you do that. Give All me right. some music, do Robin. You if want. you will. You want to sing? Give me some music, please. You going to sing one of Tony's songs? That's correct. Right. My lyrics, please. <laughs> I'm singing, not Tony. We're so prepared on this show, we said, bring them. <laughs> where, where do I come in? High on a hill. Oh, I can High on a hill. Where the hell are my lyrics? <laughs> You're running around looking this for them. This show blows. I put the cameras over there and watch them scramble for the lyrics. Oh, Turn your cameras funny, around. They're running around Look at it. I don't know the lyrics to these songs. <laughs> this show really blows. I hate it. All summer they had to chance to write those lyrics down. And let me tell you something. I've been ringing that bell like Christmas at this point. I'm very embarrassed, Tony, that I don't know the words to your song. You didn't? This was the only song you prepared? It's unbelievable. So, Tony, what the hell is going on? One of the rules of our show is no organization. <laughs> Prepared. You know what it was? The what? one thing we figured out is I could sing while Tony's sketching me, right. and now we don't have the lyrics. A lot of people can't work in a situation like this. I want to introduce right. at this point our new executive producer, John Lowless. John, why don't you come out here? John, why don't you come out and tell everyone your new plan for uh, organizing the show? Here. John. You're doing a great job, everyone. Yeah. John, let me ask you something. Yeah. You were hired to come in and organize That's the show. Absolutely. You were the Dean, fix thing. Dean, where are the damn lyrics? Where are the lyrics? Uh, no, we never got him. You never got him. Never All got right, John. Good job. Yeah, you well, last a long left time. my heart in San Francisco. <laughs> hey, John, you left your hair in San Francisco. <laughs> what is that? The reflection is shining in my head. You know, this show is running worse than any we ever did. He came in to fix things. You know what? I hope Saturday Night Live beats us this year. I really do. And I can get out of this stinking show. Now, let me tell you something. Tony Bennett... Isn't has... that... Now, do you really want us to promote something for you, Tony? Yes, this we do. Tony Bennett has a legitimate career going on, unlike me. I guess it's more organized than this. Tony has come out with his new CD and tape. Why is your picture on his CD? Well, Tony loves me. No, actually, Tony has come out with a box set. See, Tony did like what I did. You know, his career spans so many great years. Yeah. This is nice. This is a nice package. What is it, three CDs? 1-800-BENNETT. 1-800-BENNETT. You dial that up. <laughs> you get a nice little Four booklet. CDs. A big booklet. Look at the booklet. You put a lot more money into your booklet than I did. I'll tell you that. Look at this. You were congratulating yourself for your the Japanese have a lot of money. That's a Sony. Ah, Let me tell you something. Very when, you nice. have a, when you have a booklet like this, you can score with women like crazy. Let me tell you something. Well, that's what Tony does. He walks around with that book. You know what it is? You, Tony, you must go into a bar. Well, Tony, you're single at this point, right? Right. You could walk into a... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ringing the bell? Hey, quiet. Like, hey, Danny, man, mellow out. This is the straightest interview you're ever going to get out of it. Uh, Tony, when you walk into a bar, seriously, yep. say there's a young lady there, right? You show her a booklet like this, I mean, immediately, that's it, right? I mean, her well, heart melts. Am I correct? How many guys have a booklet? That's right, when you think of it. That's so true. Do you, do you ever just start singing to a woman, Tony? Tony, pretend I'm a woman. <laughs> And sing to me. No, that, that, that's easy. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're, becoming, you're coming in there, huh? Yeah, yeah, my sketch is coming out pretty good. Mm. I look like a young Farrah Fawcett major. <laughs> Very beautiful. Hey, Tony, man. All right, listen. Everybody must get Tony Bennett's new CD, 40 Years, The Artistry of Tony Bennett. See, I'm going to listen to this because my wife will get hot when she hears this. That's right. It's very romantic to put mm -hmm. this on the CD player. If only I could figure out how to work it. <laughs> my wife would get... Uh, very hot. Give me a little music. I'll sing. I'll sing us out of this. Well, there's Tony. No, I want to sing now. <laughs> the show is so disorganized. <laughs> Tony, make sure you sign it. I'm going to sell it to your son in a minute. We're going to need that. I need to. Wow, look at that. Here. Here it is. It kind of looks like me. In fact, it does oh, look like me. Nice. That's very good. Thank you. We should frame that. Keep it on the set. 
Tony, I thought you were lying when you said you could really draw. I want to thank you for coming on. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's really good to okay. see you again. Everybody pick up the new CD, yeah. four CDs. Tony Bennett, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's face it, we know how to get ratings. We have a spokesmodel every week. They get, dis they get uh, progressively more disgusting as we go along. This is beautiful. I found her on the radio. This is Anissa, the oriental spanking girl. Watch this. Yeah! Yo! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Shut your mouth. Let me... Stand up. No, but wait a sec. Shut wait, up. No, seriously. Uh-oh, here we go. Now, let me ask you something. Turn off that music, will you? There's nothing wrong about it. Hey, personally, I get off on this. Hey, stop with the handcuffs. She started handcuffing. Hey, seriously, did you do them looser. That hurts. It really does hurt. I like Here we go again. again. No, seriously, because she hurt my wrist. You should see my wrists are all marked up. She came in on the radio show and maybe pulled down my pants and started hitting me. Well, now you're handcuffed and it doesn't hurt, so be quiet. All right. All right, well, that's... <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. How did you... All right. get on your How face. did you get in this? How did you get involved in this? <laughs> I, I kind of get turned on by this. What are you going to do? I want to get into this. I want to see what you do. Do what you do with your clients, all right? You have clients who come to you for this, Anissa? Oh, oh, you have no. clients who, uh... Oh. You know, uh <laughs> now, Anissa, can I interview you? Am I supposed... Tell us what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to call you mistress? <laughs> Oh, if you could only see Look yourself. <laughs> Look at how it is in here, little baby. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. You have clients who you do this for? In other words, they come to you and they and they want to be humiliated? I'm sure. Oh, sure? Mm-hmm. All right, let me, let, me, let me ask you something. What does a guy, like, pay for a session like this? It depends on how I feel. And he, uh... Hey, Fred, shut up, you idiot. He's out there choking on his food. Now, in other, in other words, this to me is erotic, though. You are wacky. This to me is erotic. Look at you. Look at you. I like you. that. Oh. Let me ask you something. How much is a guy, if a guy comes in, what does he pay? Thing? Like $200 for the hour or something? What the hell is that? You're not putting that on me. What is this? Now, Why you, did you... you live in New York, right? And a guy would contact you, and he would come to you, and you would do this to him? I dig your orientalness. <laughs> hey, how come you're not wearing like a thong or something? How come you're not wearing your little sexy? Would you stuff? shut up? All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start doing this, Anissa? When did you start? When did you start doing this? Don't you think you better use the word mistress? Two years ago. Am I supposed to be calling you mistress or something? Am I supposed? Tell me what I'm supposed to do. This isn't like real S and M. You're supposed to kiss my feet. I have no problem with that. <laughs> yes, mistress. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mistress. Have you been a good boy? Yes, yes, mistress, I've been a good boy. I don't believe you, Howard. No, I have been a good boy. I'm getting aroused. I'm really aroused, I swear to God, Rob. Come here. Is Take this all look. it takes? This is all it takes. I'll put you in a bonnet myself. Hey, what's under your dress? Is this, does that dress come off? Ow! 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 <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Hey. Okay. Are you, you going to behave? Yes. Are you going to behave? Yes, mistress. I don't believe Yes, mistress. You. Hey, make me do weird stuff to you. Why don't you... What? Start panting like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your tongue, Howard. My hair has caught my throat. <laughs> Let me see your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> is that how a dog pants? Oh, this is stupid. Start I'm begging. Not I'm not Start that... begging. Begging for what? Start begging. Begging for what? Mercy. For mercy? Yeah. Please, mistress, may I have mercy? <laughs> Whoa. Uh -oh. Hey. Oh, boy. All right. This is the part I dig. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. You know, come on. Why don't you, look, like, why don't you do stuff to me? <laughs> well, I'm handcuffed. Do stuff to me. Yeah. All right. Hey, come on. I got to lose about 10 pounds. Oh, oh, look at him. Oh, look at Howard. Oh. The little baby. The little pudgy little baby. Oh, that's stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> We'll give him a pacifier. How about that? Oh, please. <laughs> Say, Howard, you're a pudgy little baby. Howard, Howard you're, you're a pudgy, a pudgy little, little baby. baby. <laughs> Stupid. I wouldn't pay you. I wouldn't pay you two cents for this. This isn't that erotic. I wouldn't pay you two. Ooh. I wouldn't pay you two cents for this. To tell you the truth. 
This is nothing. I can handle this. Oh, look at you, Howard. Wait till you see yourself. <laughs> hey, that's a little tight. It's a little tight. I got a career, okay? <laughs> Let's, go for, walk, Let's go for a walk, Howard. Let's go for a walk, Howard. Imagine some loser pays for this. Imagine some loser pays for this. Let me ask you something. Are you, when a uh, man comes to you, do you fully satisfy him? Oh, oh, let's see. Do you fully satisfy him? Because I'll tell you one thing, this is not that much of a turn on to me. <laughs> I'll tell you that, you better put out a little because more. Because you're, you're not normal, Howard. Would you fully satisfy me if I came to you as a client? Would you, would you get me to the point of uh, where a man feels good? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have sex with you, Howard. You would not have sex with no, me? No, I wouldn't. Well, I'm not good enough for you, you don't have sex with any of your clients. That's clients. right. Let me ask you something. What do you put down uh, for your occupation on your tax form? <laughs> Seriously, I mean, do, you, do you pay taxes? Do you fill out a tax form? See, this is the problem. You got this whole underground economy going on, and nobody's paying taxes. <laughs> See? And I'm a sucker. But the idiot on his knees. What? But the idiot on his knees. Yeah, the idiot on his knees. Oh, get out of here. What's the matter with you? Wait till we'll see when you're 38, you'll have a big... You'll Look be at a, this. Yeah, you'll have a few babies, we'll see. <laughs> it wiggles. Hey, get out of here. How many babies have you had? <laughs> All right, Yoko. How many babies have I had? Let me tell you something. I'm so busy working, I don't have time to work out a pump up. <laughs> Very good. Okay, I'm coffee. Uncuff me! Uncuff me already! Sick of this. I lost the keys. Some guy you lost the keys, you better go. <laughs> Something wrong with you. All right, are we doing a commercial with our spokesmodel here? Very good. Okay. All right, we're going to do a commercial. Sit down. She is cute, though. I got to see where a guy would get off on that. What is that? What, is, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a funnel. A funnel? Yeah. What do you do with that, Robin? <laughs> Ooh, I don't you want put to that know. away. Sit down and find out. Why don't you put that away? What's the matter with you? Uh -oh. I didn't want to have my shirt off. I'm, I gained a few pounds over the summer. <laughs> All right, okay, now. that's not funny. Hitting my belly like that. Oh, let me talk about Snapple. <laughs> <laughs> Snapple um, as a bit. What? Do we have any here? Uh, no, but we do have. We do have some Snapple here. <laughs> All right, we have some Snapple here. Hey, Robin, why don't you uncuff me? I don't have no. keys. All right. I guess you're in Mistress Anise's hands. Yes, I am. Oh, I'm not drinking out of that funnel. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> what is she doing? Why did somebody rescue me? It's a big new this season. Is how America wants to see Howard helpless. <laughs> All right, look. Pitiful. Listen, Snapple is delicious. I love it so much. A sad case. <laughs> My body is pretty pathetic, isn't it? Listen, there's a big new season of Snapple. When Snapple says that their drinks... Favor? What? Would you shut up? I'm trying to do a commercial. Don't tell me to shut up, Alex. When Snapple says their drinks have a big, all-natural taste, they mean it. In fact, uh, there's 42 great-tasting sodas. Iced tea. No, no, no. Come on. What's the matter with you? I don't have another pair of pants. What's the matter with you? Let's There's take a vote, should I? No, no, absolutely not. That's disgusting. Robin, tell her to stop. Okay, 42 stop, great tasting stop. sodas, iced teas. This bottle, some dominatrix. This bottle is snap. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, baby, that's turning me on. This bottle is uh, Snapple's handy 320,000 ounce bottle. Look at, look at that. Isn't that something? Now, that's big. You'll find Snapple in uh, big 16 ounce bottles at your store, making it less expensive. I can't read the cue cards. Can you get them closer to me? There's an awful lot of information. I mean, look at this cue card. Can't we just say that Snapple is great? Snapple's less expensive for all. <laughs> The There's cooter. nothing like Snapple. Well, they can't even keep making enough to meet the demand. Now you can get Snapple all over, including Los Angeles. Snapple tastes great, all natural, lots of fun, made from the best stuff on earth. Yeah, we're back. Huh? You having fun or what? Can you believe it? Can you tell we prepared all summer for this big return, our second season our second big year this is our premiere show of the season no one said it would last <laughs> during the commercial Anissa, the uh, chinese spokesmodel uh, breastfed me uh. it was unbelievable how'd you like me like that submissive 
You look pretty stupid. Quite a physique, eh? <laughs> I know. You know, now I know what your hair, your belly hair really looks like when you're not shaving it. Yeah, down. I'm going to start shaving my belly hair. You know? That's like a little forest. If you take a look here on the screen, you can actually see a replay of my belly hair. <laughs> and now you know why I'm going to be shaving that down and getting that stomach in shape. You can see it right there. I couldn't believe that. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> take a look at that. Is that frightening or what? Anyway, want to see something real frightening? Take a look at this. <laughs> Stuttering John, ladies and gentlemen. Stuttering John. Hero of the stupid. That's right, hero of the stupid. <laughs> so many stupid people write us and say, when is Stuttering John coming back? So here he is, the hero of the stupid, Stuttering John. John, where were you that you interviewed all these big celebrities? Uh, I was in Los Angeles at the MTV Music Awards. It was a whole, oh, I spent a few days there. So there's a whole bunch of parties we went to. A whole bunch of parties that yes. you went to. You went to the MTV Music Awards, and who did you interview? Cochise. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> no, I know my hair is pretty stupid, yeah. but his is definitely the stupidest hair. Does he have any Indian in him, really? I don't know. It's a, do your cousin it impression. Will you just put it like right over your face? There it is, cousin it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there he is. Give me a shade. All right, very good. Now you, uh, how did you uh, meet these celebrities? Who are we going to see tonight? Well, I don't know. I would. Nobody told me. Oh, nobody told you who we're going to be. This all right. segment was prepared as well. Here's all of John's hard work. He went and chased down the celebrities and asked them the stupidest questions he could think of. Let's all find out together who he talked to. <laughs> See? Hey, you know, over the summer, I forgot how to work the equipment. <laughs> what is that? They got some tape in there. Oh, I got some tape in there. No, I don't believe... Oh, we have tape yes, in there. Yeah. You have to eject that tape? Yes, we're going to have to eject the tape. <laughs> Thank you. That's my TV show. There was a tape in here already. Was that from last season? Yeah, that's from last season. We haven't touched the equipment since last season. <laughs> this is some show. All right, here we go. Is this they, real television? And we really prepared. That's why we got a new executive producer to prepare. Isn't it great? All right, here we go. Hi, Shad. Hi. I'm, my name is John from The Howard Stern Show. Hi. Right. Can I just ask you a question? Yeah. Should, uh, how, do you, um, how do you respond to the rumors that you're evil? <laughs> Hi, Mark. Okay, whatever. Um, can I see your tattoo, Chef? No. How come you're, how come you're here after what you said about... About, about, about Richie. <laughs> I don't think I said anything about it. Do you think that Richie Zambora is going to be the next mayor of Palm Springs? <laughs> Bye, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what does it feel like when about nine guys are just taking you, picking you up and throwing you off the, uh, just throwing you? Throwing you, know? you off share. Yeah, throwing you off share, just throwing you away. It sucks. Hey, share kind of looks like me, doesn't she? Yeah, I thought you looked pretty good, though, so you must look pretty good. Yeah, I think I look pretty nice when I, you know, when I think of myself as a share. You should start to walk like that and just throw your hair back. Yeah, and... like, like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. More tape. Let's see who's next. First. <laughs> oh, John, oh, who are yeah. you <laughs> Arsenio, can I ask you a question? Arsenio. Arsenio. Can okay, I ask you a question? This is for the Howard Stern Show. What's happening, man? Any mm. questions for the Howard, Howard Stern Show? Tape of broadcast? Let's send him. Uh-oh. Ooh. <laughs> Big entourage. <laughs> what happened? He blew you up totally? Yeah, the camera just knocked me in the head. Oh. <laughs> well, he's a big star. He can't be bothered with such nonsense. He had like 20 guys with him. That's right. And they're all working on his new hairdo. I wish I could get those guys to pick up John and throw him off this show. <laughs> All right, here we go. Interview number three. This is the big finale. Sly. What's up? Come on, man. I came all the way to L.A. Only a subtle one. All right, all right. Let me ask you a question. Which is harder? Okay. This is how it starts for broadcast. Which is harder, keeping your body in perfect shape or avoiding your brother Frank? <laughs> well, actually, what I do is I press Frank five times every morning. That keeps my shoulders in shape. And I run away from everyone else. That keeps me Hold it a second, Robin. Yeah. Let me get out my little marker yeah. so I can mark this up. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, wow. I was going to say, is that his girlfriend? Man, oh, Shevitz. Huh? Oh. What is that? Man, is oh, she man. Real? Is that a real woman? <laughs> I tell you, I don't see any women that look like that. That's awesome. Unbelievable. Did you oh, what happened to her? Oh. oh, get that off. Okay, very good. Let's get back to the action. Uh, was it difficult? Uh, was it difficult? Uh, was it difficult to act attracted to Italian to 
to Talia Shire? Well, actually, I think the thing that keeps us together is when she has the flu, and I, we do uh, kissing scenes, our lips get stuck together, so that's what really, that was the glue that kept the movie together. I think it was the key to the whole thing, is that we exchanged germs. Do you think that Brigitte Nielsen should be sterilized? <laughs> She's, oh, no, 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 no. Actually, she, 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 she's a very cleanly girl. All right, how do you explain it? Do you think it's fair Jean-Claude Van Damme has hit movies and F. Murray Abraham can't get arrested? Yeah, that's the truth. I think F. F. Murray should work on a stretch. One more. All right. Well, do you have a special message for Grizzly Adams? <laughs> Grizzly Adams, don't bend over around gentle bend. All right. Okay, slide, slide. Just look. Hey, man, take care of you. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks. <laughs> well, John, and John, that's your trademark. You feel if you shake someone's hand afterwards that... Uh... Yeah, then, you know, then they just... Nothing. Yeah, not, yeah, I just do it because this way they... Uh, I, 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 I kind of befriend them. I, 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 I kind of befriend them. Yeah. Well, you did a great job. And you are a total moron. <laughs> that's what's great about it. Come on. A big round of applause. Come on. Yeah, Johnny! Thank you very much. We'll be back with Out of the Closet Stern and whatever happened to Todd Bridges. Yeah. It's going to be very exciting. I'm leaving the show and Out of the Closet Stern will be here next. Because I've had enough. <laughs> Don't you know? Homophobia's got to go. We're here. We're queer. We're scouting. We're here. We're queer. We're camping. Get used to it. Gays make good role models. I'm an Eagle Scout, and I'm a good role model, I think. Thanks. Welcome to the Out of the Closet Stern Show. Hello. I'm out of the closet, Stern. This is Robin. Hi. And this is my live-in lover, Blackswell. Mr. Blackswell. Ooh, ah! Well, I see that you boys are in your scout uniform. We are, we are butt scouts. Butt scouts. What? Because we are starting, as you saw, it's a very controversial issue in the gay community. Tonight, we have a big show for you. We're going to be introducing you to Todd Bridges. He mm. was the boy on Different Stroke. Yes. The brother of... Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman, Coleman. that's right. Yes. But before we introduce him to you, to all of our friends out there, you should be aware that it is very hard to be gay and to be in the Boy Scouts. It's impossible, from it's, what I understand. That's why, that's why you should join the Butt Scouts. What it's, are the Butt Scouts? Well, sure. look. Look at our costumes. Yes. yes. These are our badges. Mm -hmm. If you notice this. What is that? Well, that's the sign of the crab. Yeah. I got that when Blackswell gave me crab. <laughs> it was an accident. I told you. I'm sorry already. That was so mean of you. No, it was mean. Oh, oh, no. no. Oh, what are they oh, doing? My... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. wait a minute. But, but seriously. <laughs> you have some other things. Yes, uh, we do. Yes, well, we do. if you could see here. Yes. yes. This badge, if you see the tree. Yeah, what is yes. the tree for? Well, that tree, I'm, this is my survival badge. Very survival. What did you survive? We went out in the woods mm. and had to eat from the ground. Yes. Oh, really? And there was nothing to eat but walnuts. Uh -huh. starving. So we How did you do that? Well, walnuts let me show are you. pretty yeah. tough. Let me show you something. We didn't have a nutcracker. Yeah. So all I found was walnuts. Right? Yeah. So using my intuition, yeah. I took the nut, I put it, may I demonstrate? Oh, dear. I put it in my backside oh. like this. I lodged it in, and through straining, it was like... Ugh. Oh. And as you can oh see, oh my goodness, that's unbelievable! Oh, it's incredible. Fresh nuts. Mm. Oh. And I was able to survive. Mm. I'm hogging the nuts, will you? I'm Robin, no, thank you. Mm. <laughs> now, mm. what else do you have? Coconut. It's a stupid show, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> I see. This badge over yeah. here yeah. is for bravery, and this is what happened. There I was, in the woods. All alone. All alone. All of a sudden, a snake appeared. Oh. oh, no. And what did you do? And it bit Blackswell on the nipple. Oh! 
Knowing I had seconds to react, I sucked the venom. Yes, 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 suck the venom. Wait suck a minute. Venom. I sucked the venom. Uh, I don't even venom. think this snake is poisonous. Oh, this is show business. <laughs> hey, trust me. Ooga, ooga. I think your snake is getting restless again. Oh, my. Uh, <laughs> you can use any excuse. Then the snake got up and bit Black Bull on the buttock. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, and you two oh, idiots didn't have the... And I sucked the venom out. And you yeah. two never got the good sense to move away from the snake? We never got the... <laughs> You're having too much fun. What's the matter with you? Excuse me for one minute. What the hell's going on with this statue? <laughs> What's behind this leaf? Oh, oh, my. I don't think we can show that, can we? Oh, I think the snake is going to attack the statue. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Listen. Let me take a short break, Robin. Yes, enough of this foolishness. Mm. And when we come back, we are going to meet Todd Bridges. If he hasn't left. No, he hasn't left. <laughs> he needed the money when he paid me. <laughs> He's pretty much captured. We haven't paid him yet. <laughs> when he comes, we'll learn everything that happened to him. We'll be back in two and two. <laughs> Ooh. 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 We're back with the Out of the Closet Stern Show. We certainly are back. This is yeah. marvelous. Thank you. Robin, so yes. good to see you. I know you're excited to meet Todd Bridges. I am. Yeah. Todd Bridges ran afoul of the law. He had mm. problems. We read all about cocaine and shooting at someone, and, and then he yeah. didn't shoot someone. God, it's so exciting to find out. Murder, not murder. Murder, I don't this know. kind of thing. That show has a curse. Listen, I am a big fan of Todd Bridges. I think he's a wonderful actress, but... I just want to make actor. sure. Yes. Excuse me, actor. I want to make sure he walks through the metal detector, just in case he's You're armed. not sure that he straightened his act. Oh, it's a just it's a procedure. It's a procedure. It's a procedure. After all, the show offends a lot yes. of people. Yes. Let's meet Todd Bridges. Please, yes. through the, the metal detector. Four, four, four. Metal detector, wow. huh? <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. Black right. Bull, you it. better frisk him. Hold I got it. something for you. Hold on. Hold wait on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me show what you. What do you what? have, Todd? What? It's called my nerd detector. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's going off. <laughs> See? Come over here, Todd. Sit down. Yes, yes. Down. Over over hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I've got it out. Oh, cut it. Over here. Over here. Over here. Yeah. Maybe we'll hear more about Todd than we have. Stop it. 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 Todd, tell me. Are you really cured of all drugs? Some days, yes. Look. Tricks to play. Wouldn't it be great mm -hmm. if he went back on oh. stuff right on our show? <laughs> this is it would be cool. Hold on. But see, this also is a ASA detective. Yeah. <laughs> no, come on. Now seriously, let's talk seriously what about your problem. ASA what is an detector? ASA detector? It's an ass detector. An ass detector. Mm. Yes. Hey, I think he's going gay on this show. <laughs> I think so. Todd, let me you ask him nice like this. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me ask you about your problem. You look marvelous. Are you back on track now? On what track? Are you back on the straight track? Are In you other sure words, you have the right person? No, I don't mean I don't mean gay versus straight. No, no, no. What I, happened? Are you no, sure seriously, you have... did you shoot someone? Well, see, <laughs> let me explain this to you. First of all, and did you go to prison? You got the wrong. Did guy. you go to prison? I'm Todd's brother. No, come on, seriously. I'm very serious. No, come on. I'm totally serious. You better answer questions because I know I'm Todd's you need brother. money, and, and for I every. Know and now, I know not only do you need money, I know you are the cheapest show around. For every question you answer, you so get a hundred dollars. Didn't you say Geraldo was cheap? For every question you answer, you get a hundred dollars. You wanted me to feed myself. <laughs> now, I can't believe it. Todd. You said fly into New York from wherever you're flying in from. Then he told me I had to feed myself. Then I get into his room and have a bowl of fruit with these little crackers and no cheese to put on the crackers. Let's get into it. Oh. What I can't understand. Conrad what, Bain. What, have yes. you been in touch with yes. your white yes, father? Yes, I have, and, Conrad. And what is Conrad doing these days? Well, Conrad is doing a play in New York. He is, is doing he? a play in New yes, York. With, with Joyce oh. Scott. Gary Coleman. Oh. We read so much oh. about him. Oh. Is he okay? As far as I know, yes. And have you been in touch with him? Yes, I have. You really have? No, I haven't. You haven't, have I haven't you? Seen no. him. You have oh, not seen him. No. Does seen that him. make you sad? Yeah. Or are you relieved to be rid of him? Oh, well, sad. That makes you sad? Yes. Dana Plato, so oh. many problems, more yeah. problems than you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but lately, you yes. lately, because she robbed a video store. Did she? Well, didn't she? I have no yes, idea. yes. I've never heard of it. 
Have you ever tried to get cash out of a video store? <laughs> they, only, they only charge a dollar for those movies. How much money could be in them? Absolutely. How good could those... Uh... How good could they be? Well, she might have wanted the movies. I don't know. You don't know at all, no. do you? Mm. Who's that? Now, this is your whole family. Hey, these are excellent pictures. Isn't that marvelous? Let me see this. Let me see this. Isn't that great? Todd, seriously, are you acting? Are you back to acting now? Yes, I am acting. Where are you acting? I just finished doing my own show, which will be sold, I think, very shortly. We're in the process of selling it. But see, the only difference is, we're not going to be as cheap as you, so... But we, now, every, all your we problems... We sell the show, we hope we'll get a little more money than he did. But all of your problems are over? Yes, they are. And you are not um, involved with drugs? No, you I'm never not. even shot anyone, isn't that correct? No, I was acquitted. He was acquitted. He but never you did, did spend time in jail, did. didn't you? Because my bill was two and a half million dollars. What's it oh. like to... Oh, my goodness. What's it like to spend time in jail? Black Swill and I fantasize yeah. about that. Oh What's it like? God. Well, you would love it. I would. <laughs> yes, you would. Right yes, I would. Did any See, guys come on to you? Well, mm -hmm. no, well, they have those... There's a lot of, like, he-she's and stuff in there. But I know that you yeah. would like, like, the muscle men. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know you would. And really? You would too. Why, who are you? <laughs> I'm done dyke. Hi there. Hey, why don't, you, why don't you back off? Wait a second. We're having a Why don't you back off? I'm talking. I'm doing an interview. Yes, you no. bitch. What's Todd. the matter with you? I can't. Oh, 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 I got a gun. Oh, Todd, oh, here. No, you hold the gun. No, you hold the gun. No, you hold the gun. Hey, that's what happened last time. See? Well, wasn't this fascinating meeting a Todd yes, Bridges? It, it certainly oh, was. It was. Well, and now, ah, ooh, ooh. <laughs> now it's the Todd Bridges show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. <laughs> we'll be back. Today we're enjoying. Bye. So we'll be interviewing Dana Plato, Gary Coleman, <laughs> and Conrad Gray. See you soon. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Time now for the mail. Now, last Christmas, we did a show in which rap star, young MC, kissed model Cheryl Baker. Oh, no. Marvin, come here. Come here, Marvin. No, 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 no. Come here for a second. Cheryl wants to give you a lucky kiss. Here we go. What, towards the camera or something? Yeah, here we go. Oh. Get that. Oh. All right, go ahead. <laughs> we received this letter from the invisible empire of the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> Howard Stern, no white women kissing black men on your show. Show some class. Don't degrade the white race like that. Sincerely, in the name of God, the Klan. <laughs> uh, all right, Klan. I don't want you to miss next week's show. You're going to love it. James Brown will be here soul-kissing my mother. <laughs> and our very own Fred Norris will be taking a bath with my father. <laughs> now, you may remember our basketball show in which Asia, the porn star, sang and stripped to the national anthem. Oh, say, can you see? I got to take this show off the air. In response to that show, we heard from a viewer in the Bronx. Following letter. You rat sucker. It takes balls like a lion to make that bitch sing the anthem like that fat mother Roseanne. You skinny little fag. You and that black Robin both <laughs> off each other. The repeat of the basketball show suck like you, you <laughs> Jew <laughs> suck. Oh. Yes, you should have lost. <laughs> you sign name withheld. Now, first of all, I'm half Jewish. I resent that. Robin. What about the good Christian part of me? All right, we got a lot of mail this summer regarding the show with Chesty Love and her incredible huge size 88 triple T jugs. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Is that amazing? Fred? Is that the only argument? No, what I'm saying... <laughs> now, Patrick M. writes us from Springfield Gardens. I really enjoyed the adorable Chesty Love and her exceedingly luscious, mouth-watering, dairy plump, <laughs> milky... You guys got too much free time. <laughs> milky, dreamy, jiggling eye pokers. <laughs> hey, Patrick, let me just tell you something. You'll be pleased to know on this season's show... This whole coming year, you're going to be looking at Robin's lovely breasts. Oh, Robin, if you would. So beautiful. Please, Look at that. Please get away. <laughs> All right, listen. I'm not Very good. Nice camera work there. 